Hello and welcome to a short video on heavy paint and all the basic features. So first we have uh, these little letters on the top, kind of cryptic, until you look at the bottom and you see that each time you change the tool you'll see what it's called on the bottom. So here's chisel, here's our fill tool, here's a rectangle tool, and a draw. Um, now the other cool thing is you might see uh, some color jitter happening like this when you first start heavy paint and that's controlled by this top right slider so let's go all the way maximum and minimum and you have full control over that we have size over here and uh, for, s for a lot of these brushes too actually for basically all of them you can change the texture um, so we're on chisel right now and if I want to change the texture I go over here click um, in this area the lower part to the left of the uh, uh, the lower part of the color circle and then you can change it here and we have all these different textures for you all right and then aside from that we have eyedropper is E. You can pick your different colors. We've got M, which is mix colors. This will mix from the first to the last point in your stroke. Let me change this back to a regular texture. And then also, um, this works for every tool. So with fill, it's a little different. It does something like that. With rectangle, it does something like this vertically. And with, uh, let's grab line tool. So I'm, I'm hitting the plus button to bring up all the tools. This is every single tool. And you can use this heart icon to pin a tool to the top uh, top bar. So let's, let's try line tool now. And go to uh, these. And then again, mix kind of easier to see what's happening with, with the line tool. All right, we got undo and redo. We have um, a gazillion tools in here, but uh, some of the fun ones, I mean, they're all kind of fun, but here I'll try rake and circle. Circle goes like that. It drags, uh, changes the size depending on your drag. And then rake does like this. Okay, um, and then aside from that, we have middle mouse and right mouse for pan and zoom. Um, you can pluck this top bar off by dragging the little gray control. And we have options on the top left, like UI scale, canvas size. This is your dominant hand. I'm, I'm lefty, so I'll go lefty here. It just switches it around a little bit. We have RGB color. HSV, which is hue saturation value, and hue box, depending on whatever mode you like. Um, let's try canvas size. This is a new feature in 1.4.8. You can change the scale and check this out. When we zoom in, it looks all pixelated and bad here, right? But if I say OK, it rebuilds the painting at this new resolution. So we get super high res there. You can also go really down the other way. Say OK, and it rebuilds it at low res, although this looks kind of a mess. <laughs> Let me go back up. Oops. OK, so what else do we have? Let me make this a little bit higher. In the canvas size area, we have different aspect ratios. You can choose like custom aspect ratio and you know make it how you want it. Or presets like square. You can use this extend option to just make the canvas extend outwards. Like that. And I think we're running into the end here.
let's try mixer with with one of these more textured brushes so it's going to pick up the color underneath and try to mix it also there's a black and white mode here on the on the bottom and you have uh, oh a save menu up on the top right so this one you, you change pages with the uh, arrows you can skip the animation if you want like that there's stats even colors picked per stroke blah 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 and we can also do things like um, exporting at any resolution again the ex it's this these these projects are ex resolution independent so no matter what resolution you export at it's it's going to rebuild the whole painting at that size so you won't lose any quality if you ex if you work at low res and then you export at high res um, okay let's skip this here and we can delete pages um, export and load in the project files here and I think that's it oh at the bottom middle a bunch of settings you can change the size to be like pressure here or the value to be pressure even all sorts of weird funky funky stuff why isn't this is it distance maybe uh, it's kind of working <laughs> I don't know why the value one is is not behaving right now anyway that's pretty much it. Have fun, guys, and uh, I hope this was helpful.